Uh, in today's lecture, we will be discussing the types of necrosis. These are the types of necrosis. Number one is the coagulative type of necrosis. That is, the coagulation occurs as a result of protein denaturation. The basic mechanism in coagulative necrosis is the protein denaturation, causing albumin to transform into a firm and opaque state. Tissue architecture is maintained. This type of uh, necrosis is usually seen in hypoxic environments where there is low oxygen and the uh, deficient blood supply. Uh, coagulative necrosis occurs primarily in solid organs such as the kidney, heart and the adrenal glands. Example is the infarction, necrosis due to hypoxia in all the tissues except brain. Whereas in brain, the liquefactive type of necrosis do occur. So the main mechanism is the denaturation of proteins and number two important thing is that the tissue architecture is maintained. Now number two is the liquefactive type of necrosis that occurs due to autolytic and heterolytic actions of enzymes that convert proteins of cell into liquid. Therefore results in softening and liquefaction of tissues. There is complete loss of cellular detail. Examples are the ischemic necrosis of brain, separative inflammation that is the pus formation due to pyogenic bacteria and fungal infection. So the liquefactive type of necrosis here the main mechanism involved is the degradation of protein, proteins and the uh, tissue architecture is not maintained here. So there is complete loss of cellular detail and the example is the ischemic necrosis of brain. Third type is that of the caseous necrosis. It's a considered a combination of coagulative and liquefactive necrosis, typically caused by mycobacteria, that is tuberculosis, fungi, and some foreign substances. The necrotic tissue appears as white and friable, like clumped cheesy material. Here, the tissue architecture is not maintained. We consider it as a combination of coagulative and liquefactive necrosis because in like liquefactive necrosis, it is here the tissue architecture is not maintained and like a coagulative type of necrosis, it is, a, it is not a liquefactive, here there is no liquefaction of tissue and it's uh, principally this type of necrosis do occur in the center of tuberculous granuloma. So it's important for MCQs that in tuberculosis, the uh, type of necrosis is the caseous necrosis. Then the fourth type is the fat necrosis. It, it is the specialized type of necrosis. It occurs usually in two forms, either traumatic or enzymatic. If it is traumatic, it usually occurs after severe traumatic injury to the tissue containing high fat content like breast, like subcutaneous tissue and the abdomen here there is a, a high content of fat so whenever these areas these areas are injured it uh, uh, the traumatic fat necrosis do occur and in enzymatic necrosis in adipose tissue indeed induced by the action of pancreatic enzymes liberated due to trauma to pancreas or in case of acute pancreatitis there is enzymatic type of fat necrosis then the fifth one is the fibrinoid necrosis. It's also a special type of necrosis, usually caused by the immune-mediated vascular damage. It is marked by the complexes of antigen and antibody, referred to as immune complexes deposition within the arterial, arterial walls, together with fibrin. So special side of the fibrinoid necrosis that uh, is arterial walls. And uh, there is immune complex deposition due to which there is a vascular damage. And it particularly occurs in two conditions, that is in the autoimmune diseases like rheumatic fever, like SLE, like polyarthritis nodosa, and in malignant hypertension. Then finally, the gangrenous necrosis, it occurs in moist tissue like mouth, bowel, lung, and cervix, and can be considered a type of coagulative necrosis that resembles mummified tissue. It is characteristic of ischemia of lower limb and the GI tracts. If superimposed infection of dead tissue occurs, then liquefactive necrosis enters and we call it as wet gangrene. Here for your uh, information for your exams, I would like to tell you about the types of gangrene. There are three types of gangrene. Either it can be dry gangrene or wet gangrene or it can be a gas gangrene. So, the gangrene which occurs basically because of the obstructions of the blood supply 
the affected part it becomes dry or wrinkled and discolored we call it as dry gangrene but the gangrene which occurs in moist tissue and uh, there is superimposed bacterial infection uh, we call it as wet gangrene that is the necrosis of the uh, tissue and then there is superimposed bacterial infection in moist tissue we call it as wet gangrene and when there is wet gangrene plus uh, appendant gas formation in the tissue then it is called as gas gangrene that is the wet gangrene along with the gas formation is the gas gangrene now let us summarize again the types of necrosis the coagulative that is uh, is uh, as a result of protein denaturation and the tissue architecture is maintained examples infarction and necrosis due to hypoxia in all tissues except brain liquefactive one that occurs due to the degradation of proteins and the tissue architecture is not maintained at all example is the necrosis of brain then the cages one that occurs in tb that's a combination of coagulative and liquefactive one the tissue architecture is not maintained then the fat necrosis it's a specialized type it may be traumatic or enzymatic then the fibrinoid necrosis because of the immune complex deposition in vascular walls, normally in arterial walls, and occurs typically in two conditions. It may be autoimmune diseases or the malignant hypertension. And finally, the gangrenous necrosis, that is the necrosis that occurs and uh, if the there is a superimposed bacterial infection, then it is a wet gangrene, or if there is simply an obstruction of blood supply, it's a dry gangrene, and if there is wet gangrene along with the formation of gas, we call it as gas gangrene. So these are the types of necrosis. If you find my video helpful, please do subscribe the channel and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.